Your Honors, good evening. Before I move on to my constructive, allow me to present a few rebuttals for the negatives argument. Your Honors, the negative views is a myopic view that at best only seeks to address the water crisis in Manila alone. It forwards that better terms agreement will magically solve the crisis. The negative fails to understand that the root cause of the problem is that not anymore the same problem as what we had back in 1994 and 1977 when privatization of MW MWSS was done. Your Honors, they failed to respond to affirmative, affirmative's claim that the reason for nationalization is to ensure equitable distribution of water and sustainability of our water resources not only in Manila but all over the country, Your Honors. Secondly, negative insists that the impossibility... Yes, Your Honor. Are you saying that the government will do a better job in managing the water resources of the country than the private firms? Yes, Your Honors. It is our position that the government, the state, will do a better job because at the end of the day, the state is presumed your stantum to always have the public welfare in mind. Now, Your Honors, they insist that nationalization is costly, thus it's close to impossible to doing that. This sends a message to your... Yes, Your Honor. You're violating concessionary agreements. Do you intend to compensate them for the loss of profit that they will incur as a result of the nationalization that you are proposing? I fully understand the concern, Your Honor. That will now lead me to my first argument, that the proposition is practicable because it can be done under the state's police power through expropriation. Your Honors, in the case of Association of Small Landowners versus Secretary of Agrarian Reform, the Supreme Court ruled that Recent trends would indicate a commingling of police power and eminent domain. The latter, just like taxation, is used as an implement of the former. Now, Your Honors, in fact, Justice Cruz, citing Professor Costani, is referring to the case of Euclid versus Amber, that today the government uses eminent domain as, an, as a useful complement of police power. Your Honors, yes, Your Honor. So you're compensating private concessionaires and at the same time you're setting up infrastructure to integrate the Philippine water system. Where exactly do you intend to get funding for that? I understand the concern, Your Honor. Your Honor, just because there is, it's costly and as negative puts it, drastic of a measure, that doesn't mean, Your Honors, that the government can just continually just could sit idly by when it can exercise its state powers, Your Honors. As for the funding, Your Honors, because it's, just because it's costly does not mean that the government cannot look into other sources such as taxes. Yes, Your Honor. But how are you going to pay for that when the 2020 budget is already finished? I understand, Your Honor. Your Honor, aside from that, we also have development aid. And it's important to remember that these water firms are income-generating enterprises. And Furthermore, Your Honor, the water uh, the water companies that we seek to nationalize are some of them, and most of them, rather, Your uh, Your Honors, are water districts. Meaning to say, they are government instrumentalities which you know can already be nationalized from being a municipal body, Your Honors. This makes the proposition practicable, Your Honor. Thus, nationalization, Your Honor, anything, uh, anything, any solution short of nationalization will not suffice because it will not see water as a public right, Your Honors. Now, Your Honors, um, nationalization, Your Honors, will in effect promote equitable distribution of water as well as sustainable use of uh, water resources because the government will now then have a free hand to control and look over the water resources all over the country. Thus, the proposition shall fly on. Two minutes for the cross-examination. Good evening, Council. Yes, now, Council, are you familiar with the Manila bankruptcy in 2003? Yes. Thank you, Council. Then you know for a fact that it was then in the said year that the nationalization happened only for a period of two years, correct? Yes, yes, but that's, that's not part of history. history. You cannot debate. contend that. Council, do you know that subsequently the government sought for the reprivatization of water utility? Yes, yes that's that correct. is part of the history of the case. Now, have you been watching the news lately, Council? Yes. Okay. Council, according to the January 7 interview of our MWSS chief regulator, that the only go to strategy of the government would not be nationalization, but rather the reprivatization of our Probably water. Probably the companies. problem in Council, that is a yes, because that resource. is according to an interview. A human right. Right. Now, Council, do, are you familiar with the UN report of Water World Development? Yes, in which recognizes water Thank as you, a human Council. right. It provides the report 
provides counsel that the Philippines is incapable of taking over water services in the country, which is why it needs the private companies for the distribution no, of water. No, that was before. Now, thank you, the counsel. government is capable counsel, and it is now, in the let best me, interest counsel, to do please that. allow me to ask my question, sure. if you would. Now, counsel, are you familiar with the economic benefits that our water concessionaires give to our economy? Yes, but that's only yes, in Manila. You, we have counsel, water counsel, counsel, over the country allow me and to water ask my question. Are not I am so to you that if you are going to take over the water companies, it would hurt our economy no, very badly. No, it will badly. not. It will be now, counsel, counsel, please allow me to ask my question. Counsel, are you familiar that which is according the to the BIR in 2018, the water concessionaires all over the country, and I mean Laguna, uh, Davao, Cebu, uh, and also in Boracay, they have paid yes, a total of 1.56 billion pesos in taxes. And imagine if you would be firms, taking right? this away from them, it would have hurt our economy badly. Now, Council, are you also familiar that these concessionaires pay a concession fee in the amount of more than 5 yes, million pesos every year? Yes, but that's not the issue, Mr. listening. And again, Council, if you are taking this away from the government because it is only be uh, the resources, if you take control then you are hurting the government, our economy very badly, Council. <laughs> Robbie, four minutes now to tell us why it would not be practicable for the government to take back control of the water operators. Publicly owned water, according to the World Water Development Report of the United Nations in 2018, provided that 40% of the people are left without access to water in developing countries without any access to clean and safe water. Your Honours, we cannot run the same risk in our country knowing fully well that our government is incapable of catering to this basic human need. Ladies and gentlemen, Your Honours, good evening. As the last speaker of the negative side, I will prove to you that it is not practicable for water resources or water services to be nationalized because based on a cost-benefit analysis, our country and the people will tend to lose more because prices will then skyrocket. Thank you, and also, it will only the worst in the state of our public waters. Your Honours, the contention for tonight's debate revolves around the question of whether we shall nationalize pertaining only to our water resources and not the aspect of distribution. But Your Honours, please allow me to rebut the erroneous claims of the affirmative. Your Honours, they contend that cross-water boarding sharing is possible. But please let us remember, Your Honours, that in the past, our water concessionaires in Greater Luzon have already spent 394 million billion pesos. Imagine if we would be doing this to the country. The immensity of the debt of the Philippines, Your Honors, makes this a distant possibility. They also contend, Your Honors, that water uh, cross-border sharing would be possible by sharing uh, resources from other, from other parts of the Philippines. Your Honors, um, it is also their erroneous contention that it, it is a violation of the concession agreement. But please let us not forget, Your Honors, that um, the, the well, resources and the control and supervision of these resources are still under the effective control of the government, Your Honors. Your Honors, they're also saying that this is a valid exercise of police power. But we suggest, Your Honors, that the, we do not resort, uh, need to resort to these um, extreme power of police power because we can address this with our um, status quo, Your Honors, and that is by strengthening the public-private partnership because we have to admit it that it is the privatization or the private companies that brings in investment pumps in the capital, brings us the infrastructure because in sourcing out water, your honors, we need to build infrastructures. We need to build um, storage facilities and treatment plants and also with the additional source of water, we need to be able to have a distribution facility. Now this would um, incur greater um, expenses for our government, your honors. Your honors, I also would like to point forward a certain point. Nationalization would simply be not feasible. Considering that our government is 7.58 trillion pesos in debt and it would require in the greater area uh, greater Luzon area alone your honors it would require 5.6 billion pesos to operate a water company how much more if we will operate it in the entire country and we would uh, um, forward for a creation of looking for a new water resources your honors it is also not in the best interest of a country to nationalize water companies because it will badly hurt our economy. We will tend to lose billions in taxes. For example, Manila and Manila Waters themselves have been paying 1.7 billion pesos every year and a concession fee of 200 million pesos every year. And if we take over the operations of these companies, then this will hurt our economy badly. Also, Your Honors, these companies are employing 5,000. Yes, Your Honor? Your position is that 
nationalization uh, is a privatization rather is yes, better than nationalization. Yes, Your Honor. But we, you will have to admit, we still have a water crisis, right? Thank you for that question, Your Honors. Your Honors, that is not solely because of the lack of water source. We also have El Nino, the weak southeast monsoon overpopulation, and these are problems beyond the control of the water concessionaires. And even the government cannot themselves. Thank you. Two minutes for the cross examination. Good evening, Robbie. Good evening. Um, I take that you've read Association of uh, Small Landowners versus Secretary of Guerra and Reform? Yes, Council. Very good. Then did it say there that there is a commingling of police power and eminent domain, yes? Yes, Council. That's but good. it is our proposition now, that we need not Long Island Island water resort supply versus to this Brooklyn. extreme the police question. power. Have you read that Long Island Water Supply yes, versus Council. Brooklyn? Okay, then did it not say there that the contracts such as concession agreements are property rights? Yes, Council. Good, right? But Very in good. effect, now, it cannot then, supersede it, public interest, it, Council. Council, you cannot so that you could have an intelligent answer. Yes, now, counsel. Are contracts property rights? Yes, counsel. So then it's subject to condemnation proceedings of yes, the state, counsel, right? Yes, counsel, but it Very is good. also now, let's subject on, to the Robbie. best interest okay, of the I'll state. You, I'll, I'll Although give you a it situation, is a law between the parties, tell me if it's doable it is subject to modification Robbie, if it is in for the best interest of the public. Listen to the question. Yes, counsel. All right. So if I'm a concessionaire from Cebu and you're a concessionaire from Davao, for instance, and I ran out of water, can I counsel, ask water from you? Counsel, that is a very distant possibility just because answer the that question. is economically not possible. If you're confident with your model, just answer the question. Can I ask? Have water the from you. And even Can though I? they have the finances, you're, you're not let us not forget, Council, that it is not the it is you're the negligence and inefficiency counsel. of the government which led us to owing eight hundred eighty million dollars in debt for the previous water concession. Council, yes, can I ask water from you? If yes, you're a counsel. concessionaire, I can. What? A, repeat the question, Council. That's why you should listen. If you're a concessionaire council, and I'm a concessionaire, we are forwarding that cross-border sharing that's really is a distant the question, and it's possibility, not for a Council. To because do that. it is not possible because we do not have the council? infrastructure for cross-border sharing. Can I ask sharing. water from you? Can I ask water from you? If that is not part of the recent problem, Council. And that's something because that you this is the greater water because source is the part, my and time. you cannot source out because that's that is very impossible really. because we do not have the I'll infrastructure yes, for tonight. Right? Now then, if I could ask water from you, then can you refuse? What is the question? The context because of the question is something like... Okay, thank you ladies. And with that, we end the debate proper. We now invite both sides to cross the house as our judges tally the scores. We'll bring you the results next. Please stay tuned. Square off. Season 18, the VNA Law Debates will...